put put your opponent off stage and then you set up ledge traps for days. Like I haven't played the matchup too much myself, but I, I just can't imagine having yeah. that much fun. <laughs> like, yeah, as, as trying somebody, to recover over and over and over again. As somebody play who mains a super heavy with a terrible recovery, Min Min is definitely the worst matchup for most characters. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but Ta Handyman is up to the challenge. He's going to you know, keep fighting until the last stock, and uh, I think we're getting ready to... Yeah, we can't count him out. <laughs> yep. Uh, game number one here between Handyman and Peckham. Let's go. Yeah. Who would have thought you would be seeing this matchup, right? King K. Rule versus Min Min from ARMS. Yeah. Sure. All right, definitely not oh. real. This right, is not real. Check. Wrong tag, wrong tag. Oh, wrong tag. Yeah, let's go. You, ne you never want to have the wrong tag either because, like, sure, if you're using default controls and that, like, tag oh, happens no. to have default controls, like, cool, it works. But in this game, so many people have some different wacky yes. controls. You know, some people have grab as, like, X or Y. Like, I do. You know, whatever works. <laughs> I, I mean, it makes sense. Uh, it's, like, closer to the Yeah, you know, I like it thumb. as a face yeah. button. Yeah, so. it's a face button. Yeah. I couldn't do it, but I know tons of people do for that. Sure. So. All right, this time for real though, Handyman versus Peckham. All right. This is wave one pools of MSM 240. Reminder, last chance qualifier for the ultimate summit final spot. Yeah, the winner of tonight's bracket or the highest placing yeah. non-entrant will be going to ultimate summit three. Yep. Now we're getting after you start game one and Handyman off to a decent start already. Okay, gets nice. another grab here. Just gonna toss him back off stage. Goes off with a nair. Actually puts him in a bad position there. Nice use of the crown there to pour some ground back on stage. Gonna get a berry off the grab. Oh, man. Try to use jab to reset post grab. And again, nice nice mix up on the mash out by Peckham there in order to not uh, fall prey to one of Handyman's uh, immediate follow ups. Okay, using the ram ram there to cover a bit of aerial space, using a, the armor to get through it a little bit. I saw Handyman mix up his get ledge get up timings in order to deal with Peckham's range. But look how slow his shield is. Oh, a dash attack. Nice wow. spot dodge by Handyman in order to avoid Amazing. the arms there. Yeah, and with the, uh, the Megaton arm as well. Uh, so that would have been a really crucial thing to get hit good by. Good jump call by Peckham. And now this might be it for a stock. Oh. Because where Peckham is, all he needs to do is just call a shot out okay. with these Ram Rams. One more. And get one more here to probably do ram it. Ram Ram, there it is. Yeah, you can see Handyman try to like recover it a little bit higher and away. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, arms, that was arms jump off stage. I see it. Stalls yeah. out the, uh, the the invincibility exactly. from KK. 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 Oh, but there we go. My handyman immediate response. Just dunking uh, Peck him there with a nair. That's what you have to do when you're a heavier character. You have to make Min Min pay for the tether recovery. All right, handyman trying one more time, but he misses on the back air, and Peck him is immediately capitalizing, also has a crown, yeah. which, I mean, again, when you're mid-min, you just basically rely on one arm to police most of the stage, so. Nice by Handyman, not over aligned on the musket inhale portion, because he knows he's really stuck on oh, that time, not quite the same. Peckham calling him out. Yeah, Peck Pen, Peckham still holding on to the crown here as well, not allowing for uh, Handyman to have that extra option, right, the side B with yeah. the crown. Oh, that's yeah. a situation we saw all over again, Ram Ram. One Great time. timing on these. Yeah, it's just academic here for mid mid and this range. Handyman trying to throw off. Oh, of, okay. okay. There we go. Fortunate Handyman. situation here for Handyman. 163%. Oh, he's trying to get dash yeah. grab. I mean, when you're stuck off stage for that long, and people are like, oh, well, you, you basically were too aggressive once you get back on stage. And it's like, come on. <laughs> like, you're, you're trying to try and scrap against a character that does not let you scrap. All right, here comes the berry. Let's see what the follow-up is. Jab. Oh, he tried to get the re-grab. Good job by Peckham to jump out of that. Uh, just going to match right out. Yeah, right now, Handyman's trying to rely on his grappling, and it's just coming up somewhat short here. And here we go once again. One more time. Say it with me, Edmund. He's, oh, he, <laughs> ma he actually managed to escape yeah, that yeah. time. Peckham was just a little bit short on his timing. Handyman going off stage with a little desperate nair. Nice double parry. Ah, oh, but he doesn't get any reward off it because, you know. Yeah. <laughs> The, the parry reward in this game for situation is right. not situation. And he was pretty he was pretty far away from Peckham, so he, he wasn't going to be able to reach him realistically, especially with no crown in hand, right? Oh, there's the Megaton. Uh, Megaton, but Handyman still thriving. Good air dodge. Good perseverance by Handyman. The man is trying to make sure he gives us a good fight, good try. 
Nice grab. We're going to get up smash here. Oh, dash attack. Still not going to quite do it. Yeah. You know, Min Min, on top of everything, is a relatively heavy character. Heavier than Joker, heavier than other top tiers. Uh, a lot of top tier characters. Uh, actually, like, surprisingly heavy, for sure. Yeah. Oh, that was a big Megaton arm. And Pe Petra now switching back to the Ram Ram to deal the finishing blow here. One more time. He's going to do it again. I mean, we saw it for yep. the entirety of this set, and it's going to close it out. Yep. That was probably the first game. Oh my god, dude. I mean, <laughs> it is what it is, yeah. but hey. Uh, your handyman was trying to modify his recovery timings yeah. because one of the changes to Min Min, the most recent patch, was that they shortened the amount of time that uh, Min Min can hold charge on her smash attacks in okay. a way to try and like alleviate this issue. But for certain so, characters... So, yeah, whereas like that was like a new thing in this game where you could hold your charge, uh, charge your smash attack for a longer duration than, than before. So they, you're saying they removed that from Min Min and they gave, gave shortened her a limit the timing okay. so that you had like if you are able to stall out off stage, you can have a, like a slight you have a better chance of getting back, back on stage. Back. But so they really recognized okay this is busted. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I mean like if you are absolutely key on your timing yeah. and a player of Peckham standing is going to be, he might even just mix it up and just throw one out and then charge up the second one. I mean timing. Like, <laughs> if you're going to play this character, you better be good at timing because that's going to be the in, the name of the game entirely. Like you got to be able to time that to set up that ledge drop properly and get those stocks. The handyman right now needs to try not to give up. Good jump call out by Peckham. But the one thing is that Kiro has terrible ledge options. But that is like it's just a completely yeah. like, limiting thing for the character. The ledge roll is bad in terms of his timing. Right now, Peckham bullying Handyman around. Nice angling there of the Ram Ram there. Yeah. Catch Handyman on his counter pick up platform. Instead, Peckham sending Handyman to the skies and that side blast, side blast on there with a the big fist. Yeah, Peckham only at 71% here on his first stock. Still in a really good spot to rack up some more damage on Handyman. And really, like, all he's got to do is just throw him off stage no matter what percent, right? Because he's going to get damaged that way, too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good, good timing yeah. there on Handyman. Finally managing to get a follow-up out of the uh, berry grab. Again, good job. Catching catch the roll. This time, Peckham mixing up his mash. You can see Handyman is effectively just fishing for grabs because that just kind of is... The, the matchup demo. Right, yeah. And, but the thing is that Peckham is just anticipating whenever Handyman is jumping from ledge, because K-Rule is so huge and his ledge cling is relatively so bad that you can't sit at ledge that long with a K-Rule. Maybe we need to see Handyman try to adapt, try to roll from ledge a little bit more, but again, I think K-Rule's ledge rule is horrendous, and that's probably magnifying the disadvantage of this matchup. Yeah, Peckham, man, he's doing a fantastic job. Really has uh, found complete <laughs> like adaptation here. Three man, stocks just, to one now? Oh. My man is just like, I, I'm going to hold on to the stock as much as possible. Handyman finally separating that stock from the big back throw. And there we go. Oh, uh, this might be it. I think Penta might try to find that combination of fists and timing to take it here. Whiffs on the edge guard there. This is fortunate for Handyman, but he whiff, ah, whiff punish there by yeah. him back up with the down smash. And now Handyman. Uh, it, that's the thing, is that Peckham basically... Oh, <laughs> Dragon Laser. <laughs> that reaches really yeah. far out into the blast. The Great zone. Wall, yeah. all the way <laughs> off stage. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> Very little the handy yeah. man can do in that situation. That is just how brutal that matchup is. Yeah. So, <laughs> and hey. I mean, still, like, the only way you could really, like, avoid that it was if, it, like, uh, Handyman had recognized, okay, he's got the dragon arms out, so I should be careful recovering from this angle. But it's just, like, the other thing is Peckham didn't actually use that dragon laser in that specific spot. Like, no, like, he, oh, he was, he was, was the ram, ram ram. Yeah. So that was a really good, like, condition move right there as well. So he wasn't expecting it, got hit by it. And that's gonna be it. Uh, oh snap! We got two really, we got some, really, some uh, familiar faces coming some, on stream. Some good old friends, yeah. some buddies for sure, coming up to the stream. We got Nito and SM. Uh, that's gonna be a fun matchup. Yeah. Uh, we got the uh, top tier or, or top F echelon uh, Ken Main taking on Definitely SM. Definitely one of the, the best. The solid IT does use yeah. um, Corin a little bit in this game. We'll yeah. see if that comes out here, but I think we're probably just going to see SM's Ike come out. I managed to have a, a invite SM over for one of my Smash Fests at my house. He's a very solid player. Yeah, very I mean, 
SM has been around for a while. I think he's definitely got uh, years of experience on Nito, yeah. actually. He's been in the community longer since Brawl. Uh, probably even longer than that, but I know at, at the very least he's been around and been playing as uh, Ike for a long, yes. long time. So, so he's played at Ike throughout Smash 4. He was known as one of the best Ikes in SoCal. Uh, started competing a little less in Smash 4. Meanwhile, I mean in Smash Ultimate. Meanwhile, Nito actually Nito brand new. new. The block. Yeah, brand new to this game, uh, Smash, competitive Smash in general. Like, actually, his first game was Smash 4. Like, Got it. And he just started with Ryu, and that's. He's made it to this level, like, and incredible he's level. Effectively, like, yeah. SoCal Shoto Master. Because not only yeah. is this Ken formidable, yep. 